What is going on guys and gals, Brooklyn Bound the Raid Scientist here with another Destiny 2 guide video. Today, I want to help explain how to unlock the Ghost Shell Fundament Shell, which is required to complete the Witch Queen Collector's Badge and finish the Gumshoe title. I got a lot of requests to help break this down because it can be a little confusing. So in order to unlock the Fundament Shell, you have to complete the Triumph Chief Investigator. Claiming this triumph will give you the shell as a reward. To find the requirements for this Chief Investigator Triumph, go to the Throne World Triumphs, click on the second set of triumphs under World, and then click down on Secrets. The Chief Investigator Triumph is at the bottom, and if you hover over it, you will see that you need to complete Secret Throne World Triumphs in order to reach a score of 350 points. Also on the screen are all the triumphs you can complete to get those 350 points. You don't actually have to complete every single one, but you do need most of them to finish and to claim the shell. Most of them are pretty easily deciphered as well if you actually just read the descriptions, but the three I get a lot of questions on are the Ascended Bounty Hunter, Executioner's Horde, and Predator of Predators triumphs. So let's break those down. First, the Ascended Bounty Hunter, where you will see that you need to loot three chests from each of Savathun's Lucent Executioners. The Lucent Executioners are found through a daily side quest that rotates locations each day to one of the three main areas of the Throne World. You need to be rank 15 with Finch to unlock Deep Sight Resonance 3. There is no way to know which of the three locations it is on a given day without going and looking for yourself. Thankfully, the deep sight resonance you need always spawns in the same spots, so you will know which location it is after doing a little scouting out to the different regions. The fluorescent canal one spawns here. I've never seen the one in this area spawn in any different location. Let me know in the comments if you do. In the quagmire, I've seen two different locations. One on top of this rock plateau. And then the other one over in the courtyard area right here as shown. Finally, I've also seen two locations in the Miasma as well. The first one is right here on the right once you zone in. And the other one is over on the left near the raid entrance. Regardless, whichever deep site you scan, it'll show you a hidden scorn body on the ground right next to it that you need to inspect. This will put you on the hunt for the Executioner. Follow the green ooze on the ground until you find yet another scannable. Scan this scannable and then you will be on the trail to finally kill them. The Miasma one will always take you down to the Witch's Echo Executioner. The Quagmire will always take you to the Alluring Curtain Executioner, and the Fluorescent Canal will always take you into the Queen's Bailey. Follow the green trail until it ends, and you will spawn a Light Bearer Lucent Executioner, which you will need to kill and loot the chest. To finish the Ascended Bounty Hunter, you'll need to kill one in each of those three locations. Now opening this chest will also progress the Predator of Predators Triumph which requires you to loot a whopping 25 Executioner Chests, which you can only do once a day. So, thanks to Bungie for time-gating this one for at least 25 days if you do it every day. Note, as I said at the beginning of this video, you can still unlock the Fundament Shell without finishing this one, but you will have to finish all the other Secret Triumphs in order to do so. 
One more thing you'll notice from this chest is an item called Qualicor, which is in your inventory and tells you to take it to Finch. This is how you'll complete the Executioner's Horde Triumph. When you turn in the Qualicor to Finch, he'll have an available quest at the bottom called Memory Alembic. Take this quest and you'll see that you'll yet again need to kill more Executioners to complete it. You need about 8 total, I believe, and again, they can only be once a day, so 8 days minimum to do this one. Once you finish it, though, you'll be rewarded with a refined Qualicor. Now, once you have this, you want to go to the throne world in Rome until you find a Lucent Executioner event. You'll know it's active if you see these white shielded enemies and a bunch of tooltips on screen that the light bearers are incoming, etc, etc. This is a mini public event, so to speak, so you essentially just need to kill waves of enemies and then there's a Lucent boss at the end. Once you finally kill him, a Deep Sight Resonance will spawn, which will take you to a chest just a short distance away. You can only open this chest you see with refined Qualicor. And upon opening this chest, you will have completed the Executioner's Horde Triumph. So in quick summary, You'll need to find the Daily Executioner via the Deep Sight Resonance Scorn Body Trail and do all three locations to finish Ascended Bounty Hunter. You'll need to repeat a total of 25 of these Daily Executioners to finish the Predator of Predators Triumph. And you'll need to complete the Memory Alembic quest from Finch using the Qualicor you got from the Executioner, turn it into Refined Qualicor, and then finish the mini public event and open the Executioner's chest. Now, obviously, you'll need more than just these three triumphs to finish the Chief Investigator Triumph and claim the Ghost Shell, but these three are by far the most confusing to people, and I wanted to spend the most time on them. The other ones are pretty self-explanatory for the most part. Elementary, my dear, and Disbelieve require you to locate Deep Sight Resonance chests and puzzles around the Throne World. So just roam the throne world and open every chest you find and activate every deep sight resonance you find and complete the mini puzzles or locate the chests that spawn from the deep sight platforms. Once you've done enough, you can claim these two triumphs. The two lies and two truths require you to complete a weekly rotating altar of reflection activity, and there are four of these total. One is called Pact, one is called Insight, one is called Choice, and the last one called Catalyst so you have to wait four weeks to do each one a week to complete this one. Finally, the last two triumphs are No Peeking and Lepidopterist. I'm sure that's a formal term, and scientists, I probably should know how to pronounce it, but I don't. Um, and these require you to go into the throne world and collect things. No Peeking requires that you use the Parasite Exotic Grenade Launcher, and you need to locate ten Darkness Rifts around the throne world and shoot them to close them. You can only do this with the buff you get from damaging yourself with Parasite. I unfortunately don't have a video on all these locations yet, but there are a ton of other great content creators out there on YouTube that can show you where they are. Should probably only take you about an hour. Lepidopterist requires you to find the hidden Lucent Moss around the Throne World. You can only find two a week, and each week is a specific two. So you'll need to collect them over multiple weeks to get all of them. You needed to take them back to Finch and drop them in the cave as you collect them. Overall, I hope this helped provide some clarity on finishing the badge, claiming the Fundament Ghost Shell, and getting your gumshoe title. I know this part was pretty confusing to me when I was going through it. Best of luck, Guardians, and thanks for watching.